In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Listening is so important that many top employers provide listening skills training for their employees. It is not surprising when you consider the good listening skills can lead to better customers' satisfaction, greater productivity with fewer mistakes, and increase of the sharing of information that in turn can lead to more creative and innovative work. Listening is very important, not only in commercial world, but spiritual world as well. A person with a listening or a sympathetic ear is the one who is willing to listen. He or she will be your go-to person. Whenever you want to express your deepest thoughts, problems, and or burdens. People do not always ask for advice or they need advice. Sometimes all they need really is a hand to hold, an ear to listen, and a heart to understand them. Listening, however, requires more than hearing. It demands focus and concentrated effort, both mental and sometimes physical as well. As we come to the end of the Lovina of 2017, I'd like to share with you a wonderful and yet beautiful observation. I'd like to ask the projectionists to put this image before us. If two ears put side by side, it forms the shape of the heart. The picture beautifully illustrated for us. Interestingly, the word ear, E-A-R, sits right at the middle of the word heart. If you put H at the beginning, and you put T at the end and put the ear in the middle, what do you have? Isn't that hard? That is what this image so clearly 
beautifully and wonderfully expressed for us. It is through hearing our ear that we go to the heart. How true it is. If you want someone's heart, learn to listen to them. If you want God's heart, learn to listen to his word. That is exactly what our Blessed Mother Mary does the very best. Her very first response to God's invitation at the story of the Annunciation, where the angel Gabriel announced to Mary that she would be the mother of God. Her first response was so clearly, let it be with me, or in another translation, let it be done to me according to your word. Active listening and put it into practice. My dear Lovinites, as we come to the end and the very last Lovina of 2017, let us learn from Mary, a mother of perpetual help, to have an active listening to the word of God as we welcome 2018. Here on behalf of all the Redemptorists, I'd like to wish you all in advance Happy New Year. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.